Hasura. Instantly turn your relational database into a GraphQL or REST API. When building a full stack application, the end user likely needs to communicate with the database. That means you need to build a secure API in the middle so the client can tell the server what it needs from the database. But building the perfect API is easier said than done. Front end developers love using GraphQL, but back end developers are faced with the challenge of writing efficient SQL queries that resolve the GraphQL schema. The Hasura engine eliminates this problem by automatically generating the schema and resolvers for you. Just point it to your Postgres database and it will use the existing tables and views to generate an API that's ready to roll in your front-end app. If you don't already have a database, you can connect one from anywhere in the cloud, then add tables and rows to it and manage all of your data directly from the web UI. And it can even help you configure relationships between tables. In addition to databases, you can also connect third-party APIs to your schema to create a single source of truth for all your data. In some cases, you may want to extend the schema with your own custom queries or mutations. Actions provide a way to implement custom business logic in an external server or serverless function, to read and write data in more complex ways. In addition, you may want to trigger server-side code when something changes in the database, like you may want to send a transactional email when a new row is added to a certain table. Hasura events can be triggered based on operations to a certain table or scheduled with a cron job in the background. But one thing Hasura doesn't handle is user authentication. Although you can easily connect your favorite authentication service, and provide a role session variable when the user makes requests, which can then be used to implement role-based access control with the click of a button. Now, because the API is created with an industry standard like GraphQL, you can use any GraphQL client that you'd like to access the data on the front end. You might use something like Apollo to query, mutate, and set up real-time subscriptions to your database. In other words, Hasura is kind of like a middleman that doesn't care what you use on the front end or where you host your actual database. And best of all, it's an open source project that can be self hosted or paid for as a fully managed service with a free tier. This has been Hasura in 100 seconds. If you want to see more short videos like this, make sure to hit the like button and let me know if you want to see a full tutorial on this topic in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.